Now to a medical issue at the centre of a growing debate. The pros and cons of using spinal manipulation on babies and young children. Chiropractors claim it can be beneficial in treating a range of childhood ailments. But the Australian Medical Association says baby spines are too delicate for manipulation and a rub on the back from mum or dad is safer and often more effective. Oh, Alexandra, how are you? When Greg and Karen Hi. King's exhausted all medical Hi. options Hi. to help their daughter Cassandra's gastrointestinal problems, they turned to the chiropractor in desperation. She was waking up during the night around about three or four in the morning, complaining of stomach pain, I'm going to be sick, and we had an x-ray done and they said that she was basically constipated. And as we can see, there's an imbalance in the system reflected in the way the legs do not reach the same length. Chiropractor Joe Arano is the and public down. education spokesperson for the Chiropractic Association. Using an instrument called an activator, Joe adjusts Cassandra's spine. So the adjustment is very gentle. She doesn't feel any pain. She doesn't complain. Three sessions a week for two weeks and her parents say Cassandra was cured of her 18 month long ailment. She is cured to the point that she's not waking up, she doesn't have a constipation problem that she was having and the fact that she's back eating like she used to and running around like a good healthy little kid. Just check this beautiful spine of hers out. At another clinic across town, Johan Isabella? and Fiona Nilsson are having baby Isabella checked by chiropractor Nicholas Wood. Okay, just one small adjustment up here. Just relax for Isabella. Good. It certainly doesn't look like much is going on, but Isabella's parents swear it relieved the incessant crying that indicates colic. Well, the immediate effect was that she, um, she fell asleep virtually within, within a minute or two. And um, well, she was very relaxed. And then the, um, I mean, the, within the next few days or so, the screaming did become a bit less. So she, she did improve. The pressure we use is similar to the pressure you'd use when you're feeling a ripe peach or something in a fruit shop. It's very, very gentle and safe. We talk about colic, we talk about stomach aches, but what we're really doing is adjusting the spine and the structure so that it's normalised and the body functions better. The Chiropractic Association points to a recent Danish study which compared one group of colicky babies on traditional medication to those given chiropractic treatment. The chiropractic group reduced crying by almost three times more than the group on medication. The nervous system is one of the guiding mechanisms of health and therefore if you interfere with the nervous system through spinal involvement then the health of the person, individual, the child will suffer. We've seen a baby have its spine manipulated. It's hard to believe that that gentle poke could actually be effective. Well a jab in the arm with a needle and a drug is effective, some say, when you know what you're putting in and how much and when to do it. That is the same with chiropractic. We know when, where to adjust and more importantly when not to adjust. But the Australian Medical Association doesn't buy it. Dr Rosanna Kopalinga host is on the Complementary Medicine Advisory Committee. The Danish study that the chiropractors uh, are quoting, the chiropractors will tell you themselves, does not take into account parental touch in either of the groups that were examined. They were also a fairly small group of babies. The study also went over a period of time and colic tends to get better over time. These babies were touched. They were picked up, they were carried, the chiropractor laid hands on them and I still believe very strongly that that is the key to this is that when babies are crying we need to pick them up and touch them. The first thing people do is pick up a child when it cries and I spoke to a woman only this morning who said she held her child for what she says was three months when she had colic and that didn't have any effect. The AMA's other concern is the delicate nature of a baby's or child's developing spine. The chiropractors themselves say that there is no proof that this is a, a hypothesis that they're basing their management on. At the same time, without proof of its effect, there is no proof of any safety and certainly there are unknown risks that uh, we may be potentially exposing babies to. You can hear the patient say that the adjustment provided by a chiropractor is extremely low force and non-invasive. Proof or not, many parents like Michelle Young are turning to chiropractors 
when medicine can't help. Yeah, yeah. Josiah used to wet the bed. It would be nearly every night. I'd say every night. Once again in desperation, Michelle took Josiah off to the chiropractor. After three sessions, she saw a change. Good. Now, it would be like once every few weeks. So that's the difference. And that would be mainly if he's had uh, soft drinks late at night or something like that. How can it help bedwetting? How can it help middle ear? How can it help colic? That's a great question. I would like to see some research. I have had two cases in the last 12 months of young children ceasing to wet the bed more than once in a while. We, didn't, we don't cure, we help. I think that the spine has more effect on bodily function than we have ever given credit to. Jane Hanson with that medical report and chiropractor jo Joe Irano will be in our online chat room tonight. There's the website, 9msn.com.au slash ACA.